Software integration and application communication wouldn't be the same without REST APIs. The API, also called Application Programming Interface, is a set of guidelines that define how devices and application communicate with each other. For example, how your e-commerce website interacts with the shopping software. Many different types of designs can be used to build APIs. However, when it comes to building APIs for software integration, the REST design often comes out on top. Adopted by giants like Google, Amazon and Facebook, REST APIs are praised for their interconnectivity with the world's most popular web application, along with their versatility and simplicity. Well, what is a REST API? REST means representational state transfer, refers to a set of specific rules that dictate how web services application communicate over the internet. Therefore, a RESTful API is an API that follows these rules, provides flexibility, bandwidth, and speed advantages to software integration and communications. REST API serves as a middleman between your client and your host server, fielding resources, requests, and delivering responses via HTTP. How does the REST API work? To understand how RESTful API transfer data between clients and application, it helps to split the operation into two processes, client request and server response. Let's talk about client request. A client is a program or a person who accesses the service of the API. For example, your program would be the client if you were integrating with a web application like Instagram or YouTube. Your browser would be the client if you were requesting the URL. The most common HTTP methods are get to retrieve a resource, post to create a new resource, put to edit or update an existing resource, delete to obviously delete a resource. Server response. Let's start by explaining the term resource. A resource refers to specific information an API provides back to a client request. This could be anything from a hashtag to profiles, comments, web addresses, tweets, etc. All resources have a unique name called a resource identifier and they are all stored on the server. When a client makes a request using a RESTful API server, the server transfers a standardized representation of the resource state to the client system. This means the server does not send the client the actual resource, but a representation of its state. Responses are normally sent back in a lightweight format to aid interpretation. JSON or JavaScript object notation format It's one of the most popular because it's readable by both humans and machines. It is also compatible with many other programming languages. Some other alternative API data formats include XML, YAML, CSV, HTML, and plain text. While REST APIs are appreciated for their simplicity and flexibility, they still have to respect some constraints to be considered RESTful. These are the guiding principles of a REST API design, so let's go through them. Client-server separation. The client exclusively makes requests, while the server exclusively responds to those. Therefore, the client initiates every interaction, knowing the URI of the requested resource. The server responds by passing on the requested data without the capability to make independent modification. The isolation of client and server allows the ease of management. There is no worry over the components modifying each other during independent changes, simplifying optimization and scaling process. Uniform interface. Application and servers can be written in many different languages. Without an intermediary, any correspondence between a client and a server risks being poorly translated. So for the client and server to communicate effectively while also existing independently, they require a uniform interface. A uniform interface facilitates the decoupling of client and server by providing a standardized language that's recognized by both components regardless of their backend infrastructure. Typically, the standard protocol used by REST API is HTTP. Stateless. A fundamental principle of REST APIs is that all calls are stateless. This means a client-server interaction are independent tasks. Every request sent to the server from the client is a brand new request. Furthermore, the given request contains all of the information the server requires to perform a response, meaning the server doesn't need to remember any information about past requests. Thanks to stateliness, the server doesn't need to store or retrieve client information in complete request. This makes the server perform quickly and more reliably. 
so it can manage an increased number of requests due to the low risk of memory overload. Cacheable. Because stateless API are designed to increase request overhead by handling a large amount of incoming and outbound calls, REST API should prioritize data caching. Caching refers to the storage of data on the client device and it's used to save server resources and increase the bandwidth. The REST API categorizes the data and their responses as they are cacheable or non-cacheable. If the data is cacheable, the API will include the specific length of time the information is cacheable for. Once this time has expired, the client will ping the server for new updates. Layer system. It's essential to recognize there are typically multiple servers existing between the client and server endpoints. The intermediary layers between the client and the server exist to construct a hierarchical system that balances operations like traffic distribution and caching. These layers operate independently from each other, increasing their architectural stability and further cementing the decoupling of the client and server endpoints. Layers can also be added, moved, updated, and removed without adverse effects on the overall system. Not only does this support adaptation in alignment with technological advances, but it also allows developers to experiment and optimize. Code on demand. Unlike the other principles, code on demand is optional in REST design. It is a feature that permits an API to send run on demand code snippets or applets to a client extending client functionality. As a conclusion to what we covered so far, yes. REST is clearly an industry standard for web API deployment. While there are certainly other options out there, such as GraphQL, for example, REST boasts an excess of tools, resources, and framework to maximize ease of use and versatility.